Well, good morning, everybody. Let's stop here and get some of this good price diesel at Pilot. Exit 49 and it's the 70 in Missouri. Yes, sir. This load we are taking it all the way to Denver, Colorado. Picked it up Friday in Jefferson City, Missouri. Today is Sunday, Sunday morning. Yes, sir. See how they're trying to fucking steal half inch from the top. Let's go again. Motherfucker. Yeah, don't worry, he don't like it. Nah, he knows. Nah, he knows. Nah, he knows. No, 308 with my discount. So, yes, sir, not bad, not bad. RTS fuel cards. That is what I'm using. And I'm also using Mudflap. Whichever one has better discount, that is the one that I'm going to use. Alrighty, 45 miles an hour. Let's slow it down. We don't want to find ourselves rolled over on the side, wondering what the heck happened. <laughs> Where did that come from? Yeah, buddy. And there it is. Straight ahead. Kansas City, Missouri. Yes, sir.
surprised they don't have any airplanes or helicopters over here to my right at this army base. They usually do, but I don't see any right now. Maybe because it's supposed to snow or something. Yeah, I think tomorrow is, they're calling for a snowstorm in this area. So gotta be real careful coming back to Missouri. The only way that I will ever go to Colorado and the only way that I am going to Colorado is as if I was getting paid to do a round trip. You are not going to pay me to go to Colorado one way. I need you to pay me as much as you would pay somebody to do a round trip because whenever I go to Colorado, I am not picking anything up from over there. I don't want to pick up a 93 cent a mile load. I mean, that is freaking ridiculous. These brokers should be ashamed of themselves. Like, I would be embarrassed to post a load that pays 93 cents a mile. I mean, that's just insult to somebody's intelligence. So, that's why every time you want to go to Colorado, make sure you get as much as you can, okay? Get paid as much as if you were doing a round trip. Even though you're not doing a round trip, you will do a round trip, but you're gonna come back empty, just like I am. Tomorrow, I'm gonna come back empty. I don't know, I might go all the way to Missouri, or I might stop somewhere in Kansas and pick up the load. But either way, make sure you get in that money. Do not work for free. 434 miles left. Making great time. Yeah, buddy. I always like to leave early. I was gonna leave last night, but it, uh, I saw that it was snowing around Kansas City, so I'm like, ah, I don't wanna deal with that. I'll just leave early in the morning. And that's what I did. I left around 6 a.m., so not around 6 a.m., I left right at 6 a.m. Yes, sir. Got up, started up my truck, warmed it up a little bit for about 30 minutes, and then we were on our way. <coughs> so I've passed by three or four of these LED signs they have here in Kansas on the side of the highway saying uh, winter weather advisory for uh, Monday and Tuesday uh, to plan your trip accordingly. Uh, so I'm hoping that I make it back to Missouri before it, start, before it starts snowing. But even if I don't and it starts snowing, uh, I'm going to slow down or even if it gets really bad, I'm going to stop, pull over, go to sleep. Because, I mean, I don't give a damn. I'm not going to drive in that, especially if it gets really bad. Uh, I know I'm not worried about me driving in the snow, it's the other people I'm worried about around me. Because whenever it's snowing, I'm a giant pussy when it comes to snow. I slow down. And uh, But a lot of these guys, man, they're just flying by like, like it's dry out there. But you can't do that, I mean. In 18 years I've been out here, man, I've seen a lot of stuff. I've seen guys pass me in snow and a couple of miles down the road, they're in the ditch all mangled up and shit so just slow down guys if you have to pull over who cares about the load it's better for the load to get there late than to get there never and for you to get there never you know just relax take it easy pay attention and slow down wow it is so freaking windy bruh I can feel that snow being pulled down here from the north by all this wind. Yeah, buddy. We got 356 miles left make a stop over here about 10 miles before I get to Colorado go to Walmart get some food and we're gonna 
head on to Denver. Yeah, buddy. I think I'm gonna make it there before it gets dark, so. But we'll see. This is trucking. Plans never work out here. Alrighty, well, I just passed by another one of them LED signs they have on the side of the road and it says blizzard warning for Monday and Tuesday Monday's tomorrow <laughs> and I have to come back this way but I mean shoot let's see what happens you know we'll just we'll just play along and uh, whatever happens happens if it's too bad outside we are just gonna shut her down and stop because I'll be I'll be empty either way uh, well being empty in snow sucks so, but you know even if I was loaded if it still get bad I'm gonna pull over it's not worth it uh, wind, wind gust up to 60 miles an hour so I don't know man I'm not really I'm not really that worried about it to be honest with you I have food well I'm gonna stop here at Walmart right here at this exit I'm gonna stop here at Walmart, get me some food, put it in my fridge. I got enough fuel, so if the roads get bad, I am shutting down, I'm not going anywhere. So, yeah, buddy. Alrighty, so let's go to Walmart, get some food, and get some anti-gel, uh, so we can put it in our tanks, because tomorrow it is going to be very bad, very cold and very very snowy yeah but i think i'm gonna get two of these all righty let's go get some anti-gel or diesel 911 whatever it's called put it in our tanks and go I was gonna get a couple of bottles, but they only had one, so but one is a good enough. Alrighty. Looks like we got nine more miles to till we get to Colorado. I stopped over here in uh, what is that, Goodland, Kansas, something like that. I picked up two rotisserie chickens at Walmart and uh, turkey slices, I already got bread and everything else, so that way, if it gets bad tomorrow, I got some lead in the truck. Because if it gets bad, they're gonna shut down the highway. But I hope not, man. Because I wanna get home. I don't wanna be in Kansas for two days. Welcome to Colorado. Yeah, buddy. Looks like we got somebody stopping to take some pictures right here. Yeah, buddy. That can be very dangerous. <laughs> very dangerous <laughs> you should not be stopping unless there's an emergency but hey it's all right <laughs> damn <laughs> you got what the fuck because <laughs> i need chains bro i don't have chains motherfucker only chain i got is the one around my neck bro <laughs> Alrighty then, very nice, we got 135 miles left, that is great, yeah buddy, we are not going to stop at any truck stops anymore, we are not stopping anywhere to, uh, to sleep, we're going to be going straight down in front of the delivery place and that's where we're going to shut it out. I am probably about a hundred miles away from those mountains up ahead, but I can still see them in the distance. That is freaking amazing, man. Yeah, buddy. Blowing snow, low visibility. Come on, pick up. What the fuck, man? Look at this jackass. Yep. You stupid ass motherfucker.
Where is the rest of your truck, buddy? What the fuck? What the fuck is this guy doing, man? You dumbass motherfucker. Hey, I'm going to teach you how to do this. Why you lose that fucking dumbass? Blizzard warning, safety closures, tonight through Monday. <laughs> okay. Corolado. before the storm. Yeah, buddy. I was supposed to go uh, 450 miles dead uh, tomorrow to Hutchinson, Kansas to pick up a load and take it to Hannibal, Missouri again. Uh, it's one of them uh, Cargill salt loads going to General Mills. But I'm just gonna tell a guy not to send it to me because there ain't no way I'm gonna make it. If it snows, yeah, I'm not gonna be able to do it, unfortunately. But hey, it is what it is, brother. Safety first. Alrighty, well, made it here. I'm gonna take up one of their dogs, back it in, and I guess somebody's gonna wake me up in the morning whenever they get here. I think they start unloading at 6 a.m. So, all right, well, have a good night, everybody. See you in the morning. Yeah, buddy. Well, this is the situation that I have found myself in today let's go check in over here there's that yellow car let's go check in see if that guy's for receiving it's fucking cold out of here man it's windy as a motherfucker oh dang Whew. I don't know why I came here this time of year man I was talked in I was talked into coming over here by one of my friends. Uh, he said, let's go, it'll be fine, there's nothing going on, and my dumbass didn't check the weather, and here I am. I'm gonna be stuck in a freaking blizzard. I'm kind of stuck in, in a predicament right now, because I usually deadhead from uh, Denver all the way to Kansas or Missouri because loads are not paying any any money from here I don't want to haul for free so but even if I had a load I wouldn't drive in this because they are calling for a lot of snow so I'm gonna find myself a truck stop well I'm gonna start heading east and we'll see how it goes uh, if it gets really bad I'm gonna find myself a truck stop and or Walmart or a hotel or something and camp out for a day or two 
until it clears out. Hopefully, it is not as bad as they are calling it to be. Uh, but hey, I guess time will tell. So, alrighty, well, let's make our way east <laughs> and see how far we can get. Yeah, buddy. And this road here freaking sucks, bro. It hasn't it has been plowed. And the road is shitty on its own, you know. Well, the roads are not looking too terrible. But we just gotta keep our distance. That is the key here. Keep distance eyes forward pay attention so let's scoot over to the left okay one more one more left okay here we go one more one more left yeah why not One more left. All right, well, wish me luck, everybody. I am going empty all the way to all the way to Missouri from Denver, Colorado, and they are calling for for blizzard today and I believe tomorrow through Kansas and through Colorado as well. So. You see right here, so the Lord road is clear and then all of a sudden you come up and this is all pretty much ice because it's being thrown from the overpass and then you have this guy, uh, good luck buddy, hey, everybody can drive, I mean, I was gonna say everybody can drive the way they want to but they really shouldn't because you putting yourself in danger and everybody else around you so I don't really give a shit about you, buddy. I give a shit about me, you know, in my life, so. But, yeah, I'm just taking it easy. Uh, I'm doing about 40 right now, so. As soon as I feel the truck spin out, even one time or something, I am pulling over. But I'm gonna pull, pull over down here to, uh, to Love's anyway, get me some coffee. I am done with Red Bull. I am finished. Remember the day today. Today is January 8th. It is 7.41 uh, mountain time. And this is the day I said it. And this is the time I said it. No more freaking Red Bull, bro. I'm going to have a heart attack and I'm not even freaking 40. Yeah, buddy. This does not look very good. <laughs> I think we're gonna shut her down here in about eight miles and uh, go to sleep until tomorrow. Fuck this, man. I'm not driving in this shit. I don't need money that bad. I'm going empty anyway, so, you know. <laughs> Get her done. Let's get her filled up right here. That quickie trippy. Alright. It looks like I can just pull in straight and park right up there. Alrighty. Alrighty, let's get her filled up here at this quick trip because they have a good price diesel. It is 309. So let's get it filled up here. And then we're gonna start it. Yep. And then we're gonna shut her down right here. Hopefully nobody backs into that space right there before me. See that guy, he's stuck right there in the middle of freaking parking lot. It is getting really freaking bad out there. And I am not about to get stuck on the side of the road somewhere or get killed.
buddy it is getting really bad it is so freaking windy out here it's not even funny man you can't hear the wind because I'm using a really nice microphone but yeah buddy we're gonna shut her down right here quick trip uh, there's the loves right across the street I don't want to go there because that place is always a mess so this is where we're gonna stop right here I think this is the first real snow that me and Blue Beast have seen together he, that guy he's still struggling to get out Wow, I'm sorry buddy I wish I had some of my salt because I usually have a big bag of salt but I don't have it now ever whenever I bought this truck I took it I took it out of my old one and I never put it into this one so I'm sorry buddy I wish I could help you out Ooh, that spot right there is calling my name buddy <laughs> I gotta hurry hurry up hurry up before another driver takes it Alrighty, let's pour about half a bottle in each tank of this. Ooh, buddy, I filled it up. Look, <laughs> all the way. All right, let's pour the rest of it out in the other, on the other side. Freaking hell, man! This sucks. <laughs> I don't like idling my truck, but today we're gonna idle it. I don't want to shut it off. It's too cold outside. All right, that guy right there in that Coronado, he's been here for about 45 minutes. So I came, I fueled, and he's still there. I don't know what's going on. Oh, that's not too bad. That's where the grocery store is. Alright, and here they are. Cherries, wow. Alright. Alrighty, well. Got some cherries, some strawberries. I feel like eating fruit today, I don't know why. You know, thank God for these high prices. Otherwise, I'd be getting one of these, but. Alrighty, let's go up here to this tractor supply and get an extension cord so I can plug it in to my Harbor Freight generator I have sitting on my catwalk. I'm gonna plug it, uh, I'm gonna plug my truck in so that oil, it keeps oil warm and stuff and that way it'll be a lot easier for me to start it up early in the morning because I don't want to idle the truck to be honest with you, I hate idling. Um, so yeah, I'll just uh, plug the truck in and run my diesel heater that I have that I got on Amazon and every owner operator out there should buy that I mean it is priceless it's the best 150 bucks ever alrighty well we got our extension cord it's 25 foot it was pretty pricey it was almost 50 bucks it was like 48 something but I think it's worth it so let's go down here to this uh, loves and get us some coffee so I took a little nap this morning and I woke up and I saw it's really light and sunny outside so I was like well maybe I should just go in and go but the guy just told me that they shut the ramp down down here no uh, going east and also the interstate is shut down from Burlington Colorado 
all the way pretty much to Salina, Kansas until 6 p.m. tonight. And watch this, it's still not gonna fill it up all the way. Well, it's okay, we'll fix that. All right, well, this one is going all the way up to the top, so this truck stop, this loves is not trying to steal from us. All righty, well, got me a large coffee. So let's go down to a quick trip and relax. Because tomorrow we got a long day ahead because we are driving 700 miles all the way to the house. I am not playing around with this weather. No sir, I do not need money that bad. Liberalism, it's slowly creeping from California back to Midwest until it emerges with all those stupid ideas from the East Coast. And then we're just gonna have one giant fucking California. You know, if I had any weight on my trailer, like if I had at least 30,000 pounds, I think I would have kept going. But I'm glad I don't have any weight, man, because Kansas is really freaking bad right now. And I don't want to be stuck in, in, a, in, uh, in Kansas somewhere on the side of the road or in rest area. This right here is a lot better, in my opinion. So I'm gonna plug it in right here. There's a cord right here. I'm gonna run that extension cord <coughs> for my generator right there. And that way it'll be a lot easier to start in the morning. All right, I got some fuel, sta uh, fuel stabilizer right here. Just gonna add a little bit. That's probably too much, but it's okay. And uh, we're gonna pour it into this thing. Get it started up. All right, push the button and let it go. Here's the fuel gauge indicator, and it is uh, very low or pretty much empty. Uh, all right, so in a minute I'm gonna go refill this one, just in case, you know. That's diesel right there for my water separator thing, my fuel filter. So yeah, I always have a lot of tools and a lot of stuff, like way more than I will ever need. But just in case I ever need it, I have it. Alright, well, I got the generator started. Extension cord is plugged in. And it took me a while because, like a dumbass, I needed to push this button on, you know, the start. And I kept pulling and pulling and pulling, it wouldn't start. I was getting really frustrated, but it finally worked, so. Yeah, buddy. Got some strawberries and freaking cherries, brah.
All right, so this is the diesel heater I keep talking about. It's the one off of Amazon. It was only like 150 bucks. And uh, it is really easy to install. And it can keep your truck really freaking warm even in, in sub-zero temperatures. I use it all the time. Uh, it is blowing right now and it is so freaking hot, guys. I mean, sometimes I have to roll down a window a little bit how hot it gets. But yeah, I would recommend this to anybody. Best 150 bucks I ever spent saves a lot of fuel and you can run it i wouldn't run it more than like eight or nine hours of your truck batteries before you start the truck because uh, you don't want to run your batteries down too far but i've ran it for like 15 hours before so and my truck started just fine 